What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I and the guys are all up here, way up in northern Wisconsin, and we're gonna be doing some walleye fishing. Now, we've been having a lot of people comment on our YouTube videos down in the comment section, messaging us on Instagram, all over social media, just asking us all kinds of good questions about where we fish, why we like to fish there, how we like to fish certain bodies of water. So what we're gonna be doing today is we've got the aqua view with us, and we're gonna be showing you guys a little bit of some underwater footage to show you where we're fishing what we're looking for when we're you know testing out a new body of water or maybe a new spot on a body of water you've currently already fished so we're gonna be taking this putting it to the test and showing you guys what it looks like under the ice so let's go do it all right so we just got all of our holes drilled out and we've got our tip ups in and we're pretty much all set up for tonight so hopefully we start getting some flags i've got the aqua view here i'm just going to go ahead and drop this down one of the holes and show you guys kind of what we're working with so we are currently set up on a weed edge now this one is a little bit thick in the weeds i'm just on the side of one of my tip ups as you can tell it's pretty thick down there but what you want to look for is the very edge of the weeds like this if you can get right about there right on the outside of those weeds right where my tip up is that's exactly where you want to be and the reason for that is because the walleyes at night are going to be looking for small fish little perch and stuff like that and when they come across our whether you use suckers or shiners whichever you prefer we are using suckers tonight they're going to be swimming towards those weeds looking for food they're going to be coming from the deep and coming into the more shallow areas that have weeds and i know you can't see it but those are green green weeds that are down there now you're going to be looking for green weeds more so than just dead lay down weeds you don't really want to fish those as much if you can find green weeds that's where you're going to be finding more fish because it's giving off more oxygen that's where those fish are going to relay this time of year and that's exactly why we're set up on it so we've got multiple tip ups behind us here now uh, all of us guys are going to be set up all the way down this weed edge and like i said you can look for other things besides just weeds you can look for gravel bottom you can look for sandy bottom you can look for small boulders big boulders there's, you know, any form of rock structure is usually good. Sometimes walleyes even do like logs and stuff like that. Uh, definitely some high key areas to look for, but we really like to stick to a little bit of an elevation change. They're gonna come up into a little bit more shallow areas, usually later into the night as the sun goes down. And uh, that's some of the main things that you wanna look for when you're trying out new lakes. So we got our tip up set up. We're gonna see if we can get into some fish and hopefully flags start popping. Alrighty guys, first flag in the night. This one's Dave's, Nick's dad. So let's go see what we got. It's going. She's going. It's going. Dave's going. Ooh, that's first tip up. Just doing the eight pound shuffle. Shuffle truffle. Not to move it. Uh oh. 12 pound twerk right there. <laughs> oh boy. He's just sitting there with it. Good sign. Got it, right? I would hope. Oh, oh, a monster. Oh. Absolute <laughs> giant. <laughs> Woo. It's got a tag in it there. It's a keeper. Whoa, it does have a tag in her. There it is. Just over 15 inches. This one's about 15 and three quarters. So that one will be a perfect little eater. We're going to go ahead and get it unhooked, but check that out this one's tagged so pretty neat little fish dave's got the first one on the night and many more to come so we'll grab the players and get this guy unhooked right away oh boy That's just mine. got another tip up just walking towards it happen to go up oh yeah got some movement okay by rule by tip rule. up light tip goes up, up. Light up okay what point do i it's pretty oh, he's going out of don't, don't tell me it happened. I guess should have let her go further. <laughs> oh no! Well, that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! I tell you, the he classic, did that one on purpose. Set the hook and it's gone. Oh, gotta let him eat. Gotta let him eat. Ooh, that's a ten-pound crawl. 
How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> Better than I have for all this time I haven't been getting tip-ups. You're gonna get the first giant of the night right here? Oh, whoa. Oh, it feels nice. Woo! There we go. Huge! Hey, that's a fryer right there. Well, we just measured it out. It's 17 and a half inches, so this one will taste real good when we get home tonight. It's an absolute giant. Giant. Putting in the frying pan, though. Got ourselves another tip-up. This one is Dave's. We beat him to it. Dave's working on the snowmobile. We got some slow movement. Come on, baby. I'm just gonna go like He's this. gonna put that down. I just got a tip-up right there next to this one. Just did like a little uh, half turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's there, he's there. Ooh, question is, guys, when it's slowly turning like this, what do you guys do? Do you guys take it right away or do you let it sit? We have not had luck by taking it right away. I haven't had luck really doing anything, but yeah, definitely right away. Right now it just stops. Hopefully he's just choking it down. Monitor both, oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh? Yeah, he, oh, you might want to take that. He's getting pretty jerky. Got him. Oh, on the field. Seems okay. Seems okay, he says. Nice one, there we go. Oh. Woo! That's a giant. That's a nice one, though. That's, that's a nice walleye, though. My wow. dad's tip-up, I see, hasn't done anything. He hasn't gone back up. So, who knows with that, but... Yeah, first fish finally for me of the night. Best one of the night. Not a giant, but it is a fish. Well, this fish is 21 and a half inches. Almost 22. 21 and a half. 21 and a half inches, which means it is in the slot on this lake. So, it's gonna have to go back. One last good look at this beautiful fish. Nice slot. Hopefully we get some bigger ones. 21 and a half. There he goes. Woo. Took a little bit, but he finally decided to go. My dad thinks there actually is something on that tip up still. Let's go check it out and see what he's got. Classic big walleye move. Interesting. Drafting, huh? Still got your minnow? Yeah. All right, well, Ivy. get her back down there and. See if we get another one. Well, we've got another tip up here. This one is on Dave's tip up. Uh, we have not had the greatest luck, to be honest with you guys. You haven't even seen us in a, a hot minute, as some would say. We've um, gotten a ton of flags, just uh, no fish to show. No, no size, no, no, nothing crazy after that slot. Everything seems to be small and just hitting super, super light, taking the minnow out like two feet to six feet and then dropping it. So. That's just the way it goes sometimes when the pressure and the weather acts up. So we do have one more tip up. We just started packing up and this guy decided to go up right before we left. So we're gonna give it a couple minutes, see if we get any movement and who knows, maybe, just maybe, there's a 10 pounder sitting underneath there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's a big maybe. <laughs> Nothing, huh? uh. Did he you get your minnow? Oh, minnow's still there. Well, there that's a great one. sign. Well, well, yeah, I think we've had it. That, that's definitely going to be the last That was up. pretty suspenseful, to be honest with you. But, uh, no, that's how literally every single flag has been since we've caught that slot wall. I mean, we've had probably... 20 flags. Yeah, anywhere from 15 to 20 flags tonight. Obviously, we took the guys back earlier, and uh, it's just been me, Nick, and Dave out here hanging out and uh, not catching fish. So, but hey, that's walleye fishing. you got to have nights that are really really good and nights that are kind of a Debbie Downer that's just the sport so we're gonna go ahead pack up the rest of the stuff and we'll see you guys at the truck Woo! all right made her back to the landing that was fun Dave is currently ripping on the old Polaris it was actually pretty fun taking the sled out tonight we typically do not take a snowmobile if you guys watch any of our videos you guys we know we just everywhere. we just walk everywhere we man it out and it's terrible sometimes our trips are over a mile walk into the woods across lakes into areas unknown so and a lot of times we don't even have cell service and know where the heck we're going so it's always fun but uh 
No, tonight was all right. I mean, we came up short, but we did have two fish that are gonna go home with us, and we did have a nice slot fish, so not the end of the world. It just wasn't too crazy busy, uh, but it was nice. We did get on top of the weed edge. We found a couple areas that I think are gonna be really good to fish. So if you guys have questions on how we decided to set things up tonight, if you've got, uh, maybe you've got a lake, that you guys fish and you've got questions as far as you know where we suggest you try setting up or something like that like i said looking for weed edges rock bars drop-offs just just differences in elevation changes and stuff like that look for structure look for green weeds if you're going to be setting up near uh, weed edges and stuff like that just because those green weeds are going to be giving off oxygen and that's where those smaller fish are going to go and that's where you're going to find your game fish whether it's bass walleyes pike anything so uh, again we had a lot of fun out here hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned a few things if you guys got questions leave it for us down below in the comment section or feel free to reach out to us on instagram our instagram is nb.edits so go ahead check it out if you guys enjoyed give us a thumbs up on the video we would greatly appreciate it if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and until next time guys tight lines from nb edits